Welcome to Elimination, the podcast that puts sitcom against sitcom and brothers against father. Music by Ben Sound. Here's your host, Bob. It is me. Hello to this very special um, selfish show, um, Bob Special. That's me, and it's my special. Um, so I haven't got Michael and Dave with me today. I'm just going to do it on my own. I'm joking. They're here. Mike's here. I don't even like shellfish, do you? That'd be the most boring episode ever, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just me chatting for a good <laughs> yeah. six hours, probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably that's, start with an hour of stand-up. That's real life for me. <laughs> oh, grow up. Jeez. Uh, so, yeah, it's a special show. Any shout-outs or anything? I ain't got anything. You two want to mention anyone? No. No, not really. I'm good. Are we going to start talking about something? Uh, okay. <laughs> just it's your special, Bob. Well, we're just waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, it's just... not that special so far, is it? No, it's, it's... pretty... I never, pe- never peak too early. Never peak too early. <laughs> and that. Um, so, yeah, this is a special where uh, we did Michael's one where we ended up talking about Krypton Factor when he meant the Crystal Maze. Yeah, uh, exactly. Dave's, oh, like where we did... Back and picked we did the Birds, and the birds for a good 25 minutes. <laughs> that was good. So it's my turn to pick four shows... Um, and the first one uh, we'll kick off with is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I remember, right? <laughs> you know, my first, my first experiences or knowledge of that was uh, Uncle. Well, I don't know. It's, it's a criminal act, so I might not mention uh, his name. It, it, I know it, what you were going to say. It, it rhymes with Schmave. <laughs> um, Uncle Schmave. He. Um, he went, Manita. They, yeah, Manita, yeah. <laughs> they went on holiday somewhere and he came back with um with an R. With a pirate video. <laughs> yeah, and it you was best believing he, in ghost stories. The, you couldn't even see the, the the cover. It just The funny thing was though, that it was brilliant that tape, yeah. I mean when because I knew there was a tur- I was a massive turtle fan. I had a massive um like, I had all the toys and everything. And then when when Auntie Manita <laughs> gave us the the video, the VHS. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even know it was possible to get a copy. And we did take it home, and it was so dark. Yeah, it was so it was. dark. It was you could barely make out what can it you, was. Can but you imagine trying to watch it was that. filmed at night, wasn't it? <laughs> Most of it was. <laughs> but I I watched that VHS to death. Do you, do you, and I didn't even, when it came out the actual film. I didn't go to the cinema to watch it or anything because like, I had it on VHS. Why would I bother? So for years that was the version I thought well, it was only recently that I've rewatched it and thought bloody hell, it's so colourful. Like, yeah. they, got, they got background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I really he, he have thought, no he idea. thought all the actors were silhouettes. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, the first film was in 1990. Oh, sorry if I've grasped you up, Uncle Schmaven. <laughs> Manita, <laughs> Crimp- Crimpinate, yeah. That one. <laughs> um, but the um, and the and the film, I, st- I stand by it now. It still stands up now. It's that it's brilliant. Quality. It's brilliant. And there's no CGI in it. it. There are suits, and it makes it so much better. It does. It makes it so much better because you you see CGI. It's like oh, but when you see the turtle, you know he's standing. It was there great. And the toys the were pucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the toys. When he says he had them, we had them. Like yeah. it was Mind we, you, they, they, they might bought out the uh, a back of a car at a boot fair, like <laughs> selling them and about hundreds of them. Well, you, the funny thing was, you bought me. Th- I always tell this story to my missus, but I always had three because obviously there are four. I had um, I didn't have Donatello, so whenever I played with them, they were always looking. It was for the blue Don- one, purple one, purple. Um, he was he, he had the, the sticks, <laughs> the bow. Come on, sort it out. The um, bow, bow. B.O. What, in his ear? Stick. Oh. <laughs> no, he... Um, so whenever I played with them figures, them three figures, they were always looking for Donatello. And they never found him. And they were never gonna. <laughs> they were never gonna. Yeah. Unless they looked in Argos, <laughs> maybe. No. <laughs> no. He, he did, he, Argos didn't deliver around the back of the pub, Dad, drunken. <laughs> 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 it's like someone walks in and says, what is it? It's just knockoff, cheap. Yeah, I'll have it. What is it? I don't care. <laughs> it's in a black <laughs> bag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take the head off. It's well, just a, a sword. I think you remember um, that there being a tent, a bit of quite a large sort of stuffed toy in our house at one time, and it had like a wire frame inside it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was re- like when we was proper young, and one of us, we was fighting with it and it stabbed one of us I remember I, mean, when, it, I think it was our elder brother probably mm. it I wasn't remember, a phase one I remember having a, um, a pillow fight and there was a big bear uh, like a big 
bear or something and you grabbed it by the leg and you swung it and you know when they used to have these big the plastic little eyes, the little eyes, eyes yeah, yeah big plastic eyes oh yeah I had a pillow full of pillow and Michael had a toy full of fluff and these rock hard eyes mm. you get one of them over the head God, it's like a snooker ball in a sock <laughs> so, so, so on about um, flogging stuff out of lorry uh, backs of lorries and stuff we had a bloke in our place and he used to come in with stuff under pants and things and you know, one day he come in and he had this great big suitcase and he goes oh what you got there like so he opened it up and it was just jammed full with matchbox cars oh, still in the boxes like you know Quality. he goes how much are you selling them for so he goes oh 20 pence each this is about what did you say i'll have one this is about <laughs> nine, <laughs> have you got any half this is about, <laughs> this is about, a joke now this is oh. about 1985 and um i loved cars, of course uh, m- 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 my mate said oh, i'll take 20 off you i'll have 20 like you know i'll take 10. and then the the bloke who's in charles come around called george and uh he goes what you got there so he goes oh matchbox cars and i goes oh, i've got a couple of grandchildren he says i'll take two so <laughs> they got one, P. one matchbox car each. <laughs> what a tight Merry sir. Christmas. Yeah. How no many idea. did you buy, Dad? About 20, I suppose. No, I didn't have any money on me. <laughs> well, we had loads, yeah, we had loads of cars. I used to love my cars. I remember uh, running away when I was a kid. And yeah. all, all I took was a rucksack full of ridiculously heavy cars. Unfortunately, you came back. <laughs> yeah, I got <Yeah>. hungry. <laughs> But um, a li- little uh, information about the Turtles uh, with the film, because obviously there was the cartoon as well, and it's teenage In a cartoon. Yeah, t- uh, teenage mutant hero turtles. Oh. They, yeah, not ninja, because it was a cartoon for kids, right? So that was after the first film. So when the first film came out, it was far too dark. So that's why the second. <laughs> what film, our copy was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why the second film is more cartoony it's more the secret of the use they you know they, they had like uh, vanilla ice in it and you know legend that, yeah i mean it is it, it did get stupid the third one was like time travel they went to the uh, ended up on horses and all that kind of stuff and so it was on a horse yeah it was, it was mad but they should have stuck with a dark thing because there's a there's, i mean no, if they'd gone back in time they would have been made into soup wouldn't they well, historically, that's. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they did. They did. Um, they used to. They, the sailors used to have them on their boats. Toil ships. soup. Ships, sorry, not boats. And uh, yeah, they used to eat them. Um, they were quite delicious. Can I say something about the turtles? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I don't really get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it what is? You got these mutant ninjas. I mean, turtles, a, lot of the, a lot of the kids' programs back in the end, I like, I like Danger Mouse and all that sort of stuff. But the turtles just went right over my head. I mean, I just didn't get it. I mean, what's not to get? It's a load of turtles that have mutated but, into ninjas. No, no, no. But and what was the... Yeah, and their, their boss is a rat. Yeah, yeah the governor, the CEO. Is CEO? Is it Splinter? They live in the, uh, they're turtles, Dave. They were normal turtles. They grew... They, they got in use. They got. On, Dave, they were massive. The... They were massive. And then... And then they live in the sewers, but they eat pizza. Of course they do. Of course, course they, they do. I understand, the, for- I understand, pizza. <laughs> I understand the format of the what program. Was, what was the bad guy's name? Razor Shredder. face. I just Shredder. got no interest in it. It does nothing for me. But he looks like George Harrison, doesn't he, that one there? That was Bob's, okay. Bob's got his sex toy uh, collection. <laughs> I've, got my, I've got my wrestling figures to the side, and uh, that's. Uh, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> that's going to pop up. Um, so. Um, uh, where was we? Turtles. Yeah, so um, did you know? <laughs> I forgot what he was talking about. Um, so you know the... Um, He's always try, surprised. I'll, I'll, I'll try to change your conversation. Uh, you know Power Rangers? <laughs> you know, Easy for you to say. Do you, know, yeah. do you know Power Rangers got the idea from Turtles? I hate that Power was another dad, Yeah, but listen to this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mighty Don't Mor- you wag your finger at me, mate. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They said they had to have that same rhythm to have the same grab as... As uh, the turtles. What was, are you talking about? You know, the listen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Well, well you're moving your hands it's, so much. I thought you were talking about the toys with the hands. I grabbing. Doing what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I talk with my hands. I'm not Italian. Mr. What do you say, Mister? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, that was. Uh, oh, did you know? Uh, in the first, um, in, <laughs> in the Turtles film, oh. Sam Rockwell is in it. Ain't he the bloke who's buried in the desert with all the aliens? What? That's Roswell. Roswell. Sorry, no, that's, some, that's another bloke. Sam Rockwell's like, do you, do you know the uh, Billboards film we watched? 
Oh, free Bill Bills in yeah, Epping he's Forest. Yeah, he's the bad cop, the racist cop. He's also in Green Mile. He's the bloke who spits the cake at that Dad, bloke. Why is he using his hands so much? I don't know. Mine are quite still. I mean, I'm, even I'm doing all right. It's because it's my special. Do I can you, do it. Do it's think, my special and I'll you, cry a bowl. I keep <laughs> expecting to see it on fire and he's trying to wave it out or something. Anyway, yeah, oh, sorry, Bob. The, the, the really cool started early. Yeah. Um, that's it, yeah. So Sam Rockwell. No, I, I, th- I thought that was fantastic, the, the titles. I mean, the tune for the cartoon as well. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it there is a, the, I mean, not that you guys care, but there is a cartoon of... There is a T in that word. Not in my world. What, a cartoon? A cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, where all the turtles meet. And there's the, it's like a dimension thing where the turtles, you know, the cartoon we watched... Um, they meet the ones from the comics and all that. It's called Turtles Legends. Have a look. It's pretty good. No, I'm all right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to? I'm I'm good. Is that an order? I think I'm we're going to move babe. on. I shouldn't have done any research. I've just, <laughs> just done it. Uh, uh, well, right. We've done air research, didn't we, in air specials? Absolutely. Oh, I've, got, I've done the research. I've it's got all in the prep. All, yeah, all... that's right. You know, you don't see me I'm... coming in here thinking well, Crystal like Maze is uh, the crypt of the fact that they are. <laughs> I've been. This is absolutely horrendous. Well, um, I think it's going quite well. <laughs> quite well. Um, <laughs> let's move on, shall we? He's got red, even yeah, though the I, listeners can't see him. I was really. You know your. You know I your was really four programs. Bob, you know your four programs. Yeah. Are any of them any good? <laughs> I'm gonna you say, made Michael howl with that. That was a strange noise. It was. It? <laughs> I'm gonna, I, Dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna predict. No. No, they're not. Uh. Well, the next one, I'll tell you, I'm I'm close to walking out here. I'm really excited to find out how rubbish the next one is. No, (laughs) I like the the term. No, I know what the next one is. I'd look, news at 10. (laughs) (laughs) I read about it in here. Panorama. Um, I don't think I'll bother. Well, that's the end of the show. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that that went better than expected. I'm sure the next one's going to be really good. The next one is, um, whose line is it anyway? 90s improv show. Um, great. Was, I mean, I laughed at that. I did. Actually, Cre- created by Dan Patterson we should and say Mark Leveson. That, that John Sessions died yesterday, didn't he? He did, and yeah. He, I'm sure he was on that programme. I'm sure he was. It's his style, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it was hosted by Clive Anderson. Um, I've, I've met Clive Anderson. Paul Merton was one of really the... Uh, uh, yeah, and I liked the American dude, the tall guy. Ryan Styles. He was brilliant. Ryan Styles and Colin Mockery, them two. Do you know, Ryan Styles was in every episode. He never missed a show. Oh, really? Yeah, Greg, he was really Greg good. Proops was the American one with a really... Actually, now I think about it, that programme was brilliant. Actually. It is really good. I mean, I, I didn't know then that what improv was and, you know, thinking on your feet and just being given something. I had no idea as a kid I what, mean, what was genius, going on. genius, really. Yeah, right? I mean, how they... I mean, when they sit there and they just talk to talk about something, they give them a subject straight away and they just do it. There's or make be song somewhere or that you can see Brilliant. them now. See, well, there must be a site somewhere where you can search whose line is it anyway and see you know, watch yeah. episodes. I, mean, I, I, I for the life of me, I couldn't think of one. What about you? I guys? mean, if they haven't thought no, of a platform, yeah. they should. They you, should YouTube have somewhere. Maybe? Oh, YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's a I'm good thinking. idea. Oh, yeah. I thought Dad might have uh, helped me out with my joke uh, there, but he totally just. No. Uh, 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 you are there, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was Clive Anderson like? I think like he might then? have wet himself. He's, he's acting yeah, a bit... Yeah, I don't know what's the matter with you, Dave. He's acting a little bit. Right? No, I'm being the, shocked. The bucket underneath the chair, he's full. I'm shocked. <laughs> I mean, oh, you, does your bag need changing? <laughs> uh, is, this, is, this show, is this a wind-up? <laughs> <laughs> I am recording. This is actually happening. Oh, okay, yeah, go on. Um, oh, Clive what was Clive Anderson, Anderson like? A really nice bloke. I like Clive Anderson. He was a really nice bloke, yeah. I... Um, he was a lawyer, wasn't he? he? Was, was, a, was he was a lawyer, wasn't he? Before, yeah, it was. A, he was um, a charity quiz, which I charity. did. I did before with Claire Grogan. They got Clive Anderson in this time. So it's I, your he, birthday. Yeah. Nicky Campbell done one as well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But I wasn't at that one. Um, so Clive Anderson, I, he was really, um, did really he speak nice bloke. Yeah, I was talking to him across the table for ages. Um, and I was asking him about the because remember he had his chat show and the Bee Gees walked off. Oh, I was yeah, talking to him yeah, about yeah. that, and he was saying that it was um, it was it weren't really like the, a lot of prima donnas, weren't it? It weren't really the Bee Gees. It was the backroom staff that were kind of pulling them away. Now he, he's going to places you're not allowed, you know, and they were kind of wrapping it up behind. Something about scenes. tossers, wasn't it? A word on the word t- uh, tossers. Yeah. So it, you're free tossers in, are you? And they said that's it. Yeah, it, it was it was not uh, something and nothing. I mean, Morris uh, stayed there, didn't he, for a little while? Then he said, "Oh, I better go as well." Didn't. Did you yeah. um, did you speak to him about this program? 
Who's what, Elimination? Whose line is it anyway? Yeah, of course I did. I was a massive fan. He said about the American one, he said that he, he was gutted when they didn't take him over because uh, oh. Drew Carey did it. A guy with the thick glasses. Um, <laughs> oh, so they... Bless sorry. you, Dave. So they they copied us. We didn't copy them for that. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. okay, fair enough. Yeah. And... Uh, what did they do? Well, I yeah, Josie so, Lawrence, that was another one. Yeah, Josie Lawrence, was super. I got Tony Slattery, Josie Lawrence, Caroline Quentin was on it. Uh, Sandy Toxvig was even on oh, it. Oh, Griff Reese jones was on it. And in the US version, Robin Williams was on it as well. No, so well, I bet there were clips a, of that. I yeah. bet he was epic. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna, but I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm telling yeah. you, some of these games are wicked to play with kids. I'm telling you, if you look at some of them kids... We, we was on holiday recently and I got the kids doing... Um, a game where you have two of them facing each other and they can only talk in questions. And they're not old kids, they're kids' kids, you know. So it really got their brains working and it was really funny and, you know, how they, they were... They haven't forgiven you. Yeah, I know. But it's, it was just... Some of them games are brilliant. And later on in life, as trying to be an actor and going to an acting school, I got hired as a um, to train improv. I was people. learning to be an actor, I got hired as a caretaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as a cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was just research. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I ended up teaching improv, and, and it is, uh, it's such an interesting concept because some people really struggle with it. Like, they don't understand it. And then you think some of the best... You've got to totally commit, ain't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you've got to also accept anything. Like, if me and, me and you are sitting in... Do, like, do me and Dad one. Well, see, see if you can do a conversation just in questions. Mike, you're you're the shopkeeper, and Dave, you're you're there to take something back. Right, go on then. Um, can I help you? Do you want to help me? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> That's how hard it is. It's hard. Like, oh, okay, you're Michael. I was going to say no. Michael, you're a doctor, and Dave, you're um, you're the patient's uh, visitor, and you want to get an update on your mate. On the patient's visitor. Yeah. So there's a so patient. Mates in, yeah, you're asking you the doctor. You come to see if your pal's all right. There is Jimmy, all right. Um, is he dead? Well, you should know, shouldn't you? I, oh, is, that's not, yeah, that's not a question. It is. It, well, it's you not, should know, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? Yeah. Should, no, 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 that's oh, not a question. Okay. No repeats and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's bloody it's hard. hard. We haven't it's got hard. past two yeah. questions. This but really imagine be. this, right? This is this is one of the best examples. Is when uh, It's called the interview. He's not so, a good teacher, is he? So he used Michael, to teach this. Yeah. So, Michael, you're... We were rubbish, so he must uh, be a rubbish teacher. Uh, you, you're interviewing for a job I'm offering, <coughs> okay? And you ain't got talking questions. This is just how it is. Um, so, so why do you think you um, will be good at this scuba diving job? Because I can't swim, and I need to learn as soon as possible. So, don't you think you should have learnt how to swim before you came in? Uh, no, I thought you'd do that for me. Well, the training does uh, doesn't include. It, say, it says training for the you know training will be uh, provided. Yeah, it will be a deep sea deep sea diving kind of uh, course. So, right, but... you be can you hold your breath? Um, no, but um, see that, that it doesn't work. Oh, see, right, okay. No, no, but they, so, that's improv. Is so I'm supposed to if be I actually get, try and you do. say yes and then, so you accept everything that I'm saying. Right. So you want this job? Yes, I do. Um, and then I say something like, "Well, how do you think you're going to be a good scuba diver when you've only got one leg?" You can't say I haven't got one leg. I, mean, I can, you know, I can you, sink with one leg. You have to accept it. You have to be willing to. Okay. You know, if I say you you you're a woman now, so when was the sex change or whatever, you have to accept it. It's take it and go with it. And that's what these guys do. I mean, oh, yeah, this oh, is yeah. a star. These these. I mean, Ryan Styles and Colin Mockery. I don't know what they do. I've never seen them do stand up or anything like that oh, or no. acting. I've never seen. I've only ever seen them on that show. Yeah. And they're brilliant. It they're was brilliant. Magic. Her Josie, she went, she went hell to leather when you know, she was good. Yeah, Josie. we saw a show recently where she set her hair on fire on a live interview, right, didn't yeah. it? It was her birthday, and they brought out a cake. Actually, and I thought she would become a really big name, but she hasn't yeah. really, is she? No. Obviously, in the eighties, they have loads of hairspray, and she leant over this cake, and it shook. <laughs> and the woman was—they just sort of covered it up, didn't they? And went, oh, so what have you got coming up next? <laughs> <laughs> just there with, like, yeah, yeah. Head. It was all sort of smoking on one side. Yeah, yeah. she's like, don't turn her around. She's <laughs> she got completely bald the back of her head. Yeah. We, we watched an old series, a, a cricket series, of, um, with um, Timothy Spall and uh, Brenda Blethyn, and a lot of names, and she was in that, and she was uh, she was very good in that. But you don't see her in much, do you? For someone of her talent, anyway. Maybe What's she does theatre or something. Josie? Josie Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. With um, a W. 
Um, and the show was uh, cancelled yeah, in. That is what I was thinking. The show was cancelled in two thousand and three. Really? really? Yeah. I it was but, when did it start? But. I don't know. I don't know. I still think of 2003 as the other day. It started as a radio show uh, in 1988. 1988. 1988. And uh, till till 1999. But listen to this. They had so much footage, they stopped filming. They just cancelled it. But it then ran till 2003 with the footage that they already had. Just oh, wow. Yeah. Fresh footage that they hadn't released. Hell, that's amazing, isn't it? So from when to when? So 1988 to 1999, yeah, that and then was the series. And then 99 to 2003 so with years. footage. That's they unbelievable, yeah. isn't it? And it doesn't so age. So brand new it? shows that were yeah. filmed, just amazing. It's it? fresh stuff all the time, but they just never released it, yeah. I mean, the point system was mental, wasn't it? Oh, and like no, Clive remember. Anderson would say, oh, yeah, he gets 10 points. Yeah, you got 100 points. And at the end, there'd just be a winner. <laughs> yeah. And they have to read the, the credits That's in right. a certain way. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah that but it's like, it's like QI. The score don't matter, does it? No, no. no. It's the entertainment. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Like elimination, in a way. <laughs> oh, that's very important. Oh, I, think, oh. I think the outcome is extremely important. Oh, right, yeah. That's the whole point. I, I live God, for it. it. I live but, for it. So there was, the, uh, just to mention a few of the games, Like so you had the country song. Where they just did the hoedown, where they did a song and it went down the line. Ryan Styles actually absolutely hated that round. Uh, question talk, where they talk in questions. Uh, funny item, they get something like a big foam something and they have to use it in different ways. Um, the ab- advert for the greatest hits. I used to love this one because it was um, you get s- like Ryan Styles and Colin Mockery sitting on the the stalls, and they'd do it like a proper set of QVC kind of way. Oh, so here we are, Colin, you know, and, and talking about it, um, and they'd ask each other questions to sort of test each other, and then they'd just come up with this. Don't forget the hits like yesterday was yesterday and, <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. brown is not my favourite colour and then they'd go over to the bloke and he'd have to sing a song <laughs> with that so you know whatever brown. it was do you reckon there was any favorite. skullduggery no I think it was just a laugh I, I really you don't think, think there was any pre-planned stuff that you know I, see, um, I, always I like thought, to think I not wondered. I like to think not but I, I yeah I don't think so I, I don't think so I don't know if you know with Clive Anderson well I, you've researched it I think you would have if there was I think you would have seen yeah. it I mean, because they obviously the show was like tw- I don't know twenty five half an hour, but they used to film for hours. That so, was the day. Yeah, so they used to film for hours and then could put it in a show. Okay. So they used to play more games and more games. That's why they had so much footage. Yeah, okay, that makes um, sense. And then I used to like the one where they um, three people in a scene. One had to be sitting. One had to be standing. It looks like a rabbit one, one with a knife be, in it. Said one had to be. Um, one had to be. Uh, I put up three fingers, and yeah, I've got three stubs. <laughs> so is, what's that? You're doing a lot of visual rabbit. jokes these days, lads. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, three fingers. What's that? Rabbit with a knife in its head. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Harry Enfield in series one of Men Behaving Badly. So it is, um, you know, appropriate. Um, Who said yeah. he was rubbish? Yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Yeah, whose lines anyway? I, I really like it. Good it was, it, well. it was excellent. In fact, I'm I'm gonna watch some of them on it's YouTube. Very, it's, I don't think there's ever ever been anything else like it. No. And like, yeah, I'm surprised that that hasn't. Oh my, watching the American one. I didn't know that that they did one. Yeah, there was a. I can't remember his name, but there was that black guy, Dave. We was watching um, Hell's Kitchen, and he sat in the kitchen thing, didn't he? And you said, "Who's that?" Was it Joe like, Frazier? No, no, he's something else. <laughs> <laughs> I like Chris Rock, okay. didn't you? Yeah, he's, he's good. Yeah, he's, I like Chris Rock. His stand-up's good. Um, right, we'll move on to the next one now. I quite like him in the films as well, actually, Chris Rock. Yeah, I don't mind him. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of one what? film he's in now. <laughs> I was... I don't oh, know. do you know... He was, he was a cartoonist. He was a stick insect, wasn't he, in one of the, uh, one of the yeah, cartoons? Yeah, a couple of voices. Yeah. I think he did, the, ze- he did the Zebra in right. Ma- Madagascar, I think, as well. Yeah, he's got an original voice, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah I think he was, yeah. He was in a film, uh, uh, like a gangster thing. It was funny. I can't remember what it was. And he was like the little little crackhead geezer. <laughs> and uh, he, was, he went into like a rib shop. And oh, I'm gonna get you sucker! I think that yeah, was. Yeah, something like that. And he goes in. He goes. He goes. Mm-mm, I sure am hungry. And the <laughs> goes, "What do you want?" He goes, oh, "I'd have one rib." He goes, "One rib?" He goes, "Yeah, I'm, I'm real hungry." He shouts <laughs> to the chef, doesn't he? <laughs> one rack of ribs. He's like, no, no. He goes, "No, no, no, just one, one rib." And then, yeah, and he goes that. He gives me his one rib, and he goes, "Have you got to change him a <laughs> hundred? 
yeah. this weekend, yeah. That was like, very like, young, very fucker? young Chris Rock. That yeah, is, the, yeah, the guy, actually, I don't know why I remember this. The guy whose who's, who's food shop it is, he's got gout in his foot. Do you remember? Oh, he's got a pulsating <laughs> yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean it's the same. What uh, is that film? Because I'm, I'm going to get you sucker. I'm, I'm sure gonna it is. I'm going to get you sucker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, it is. I, I, I need to watch that. Like, Make a note. Yeah. Um, so my next one is um, is Big Brother. Oh, God. Did you ever watch it? No. Well, I watched some of the... Fl- why the... F- what? Do I have what, the, f- what the flip? Yeah, <laughs> shut the <laughs> front you know door. I, I picked Big Brother because when it, when it first started, it was huge. It was absolutely massive. Like the whole Nasty Nick thing and all that. I mean, it was... Everyone was watching yeah, it. You uh, you weren't indoors, Mike, so you uh, I don't know. You say everyone was watching it, but I bet the viewing figures were very low. It was on Channel Four, wasn't it? Yeah, but there was only five channels. I know, but Channel Four audiences are way below BBC One, BBC Two, and ITV. Right, we will move on to the next one then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I if you can discuss Big Brother, I, I've. I, I don't. I never saw the Big Brothers when it was just normal people. I watched all the celebrity ones. It, it's, it turned. I mean, and I just loved watching these celebrities just fall apart in front of your eyes. Oh yeah, they all. I thought it was hysterical. They all melt, didn't they? Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. It, it's it, when it first started. I mean, it was like, oh, they're going to put people in a house and all these kinds. Of I remember things. coming home from and work was, and you sitting in front of the city at three o'clock in the afternoon, watching people asleep in bed, and I, I just, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just so original. It was so uh, groundbreaking, I suppose, at the time. It was it was massive. It was massive, and everyone, um, you know, I mean, it seems stupid now considering what turned what happened in later episodes. But you know, the nasty Nick thing where he's writing stuff down. It seems so tiny compared to you know, the, the sick stuff out, that you know, happened later you? on and all that kind of stuff. It's mad, and he'll always be known for that. Now he'll always be the nasty Nick. He'll always be that. Um, well, the thing is, if you do ain't watched this, then there's no point me well, <laughs> banging no, on about it. I've only ever seen this. I, I enjoy the celebrity ones. I hated ones. it. I, 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 I hated it. I, I, do you know what I hated I'll, about I'm it most? It I hated the fact... I hated... The, the longer it went on, the more I hated it, because you had people, completely talentless people, and in my opinion, just unbearable f- flipping idiots. Well, that's what I was uh, going to say. And getting that's famous say, and getting yeah. rich. And there's me working my... to the bone... You know, and it, it or maybe yeah, a bit of a jealousy thing. They all they've done is, um, you know, walk around with their boobs out. I could do that, and that's the man. <laughs> yeah, you know, it just it just annoyed me. People famous for the sake of being famous. I I, I, I just don't. well, this was the thing because see, when it first started that, stuff. it was new. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It started that. Look how huge that is now. I mean, you can't turn the telly on without some no, some that, wives no, or again, something. Again, it, this was the first that, one for me. Isn't entertainment. I can't bear That's it. That's not a plus, though, Bob, is it? No. No, 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 absolutely. I don't watch all these Kardashians and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it was huge at the time. It was My my oh, generation, was... all my mate, it was like, oh, did you see this? Did you see that? Started we... in Holland, didn't it? Yeah, that's right. But they did, you know, there were some iconic... I mean, you you think Jade Goody, right? She came out of it, and I'm, I was never a fan of Jade Goody, even when she oh, was felt, in that house. Yeah, I hate even her, when she was I in, felt really bad for her in the end there. Oh, of course, of course, but, you yeah, know... you animal! No, but I'm just saying, like, there's so... The, the racist thing, the celebrity, because she came back, didn't she? Well, who was and the one? Kunga? Kunga? She, Kinga. With the, with, the, with the bottle. Wine bottle, yeah. She... Yeah. Um, you know, when you think about Nasty Nick doing that and then you think about Kinga doing that, I mean, he'll always be Nasty Nick, which she gets sort of forgotten. It's, it's mad. Well, but it, what, yeah. what's, what's your highlights of the celebrity one then, Dave? Because they, they got onto a winner with that. Because you got oh, to yeah, see I what enjoy, people I are really enjoy like. Them. Obviously, the biggest Jack highlight of all funny, was uh, David Guest, wasn't it? When oh. David's dead. I mean, that was... Not a human. You can't write com- it. That was you comedy can't write gold. It. I mean, that was unbelievable. What happened? <laughs> Angie, it's unbelievable. Angie, Angie Bowie was in there. It's, it's a long time ago, but Angie Bowie was in there, and that's, well, while she was in there, her ex-husband David Bowie died. So they called her into the room and told her, "Oh, sorry to tell you, but your ex-husband David Bowie has died." Oh no, no. But um, now we'd understand if you'd want to leave. But if you want to stay, you're quite welcome to stay. So she goes, "Oh, I'll, I'll stay." So she come back in. And and she came in, and all all the people were outside. David Guest and all that. you forget who they are for a month after it's finished. But all these other people, 
And then uh, there was this black girl from America. She was a bit mouthy. And uh, she came out and Angie Bow, Angie, Bow, Angie Bow was just sitting there. And she said to um, said, what's up, Angie? You don't look, you don't look right. And she goes, oh, uh, it's David. Oh, what? She, now, straight away, she thinks David, David gets. Yeah. He's the only David in there. She goes, uh, well, what's happened? She goes, David's dead. Oh, no, 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 no. She, so she goes flying off to tell all the others. So the old, they were having a fag outside. And she goes, oh, you won't believe it, you won't believe it. He goes, what, what, calm down, what's happened? She goes, oh, David's dead. What? He, I know he didn't feel well. He's having, he's a, having a shit. He's having a lay down in the bed. He's all, he, he was all right for 10 minutes ago. No, David's dead. So they all go in, and the funny thing ever was that he was in the bed with a sort of cover over him, and they're all round the bed like the dwarfs with Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them sort of prodded him, <laughs> <laughs> As if they'd leave him there for them to find him. He was dead. <laughs> this so is brother and he pulls the cover up and he says, what's, what's happened? What's happened? He's not dead. He's not dead. You said he was dead. And then they all turn against this black girl for spreading this malicious oh, thing that he man. was dead. And he, oh, she it, told it, me, and then they said, no, David Bowie's yeah, dead. Yeah. Not David yeah. Bowie didn't die that yeah. long ago, did he? That ain't still right. About 2013. Yeah, died, I think mean, there was... It? Yeah, it was one of the last ones that was. I don't. But you've what? had you've had some, John McCruick was in there oh, as well, wasn't John it? John McCruick, yeah. He just said it how it was, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I, I didn't yeah. mind John McCruick. I know people hated him, He's but I didn't mind. Like he was, he was. Yeah, he, he was, was, but he did say what he was saying. He was very know. knowledgeable on what he was supposed to know. Like very, racing re, football, very like. refreshing to have somebody go in there and not sort of pretend, you know, because they all want to like Vanessa felt she cracked up, didn't she? She had a, she just melted. Yeah, oh, that was the that, that was the first one. That wasn't like a pr- and he lasted a week. I mean, yeah, there was nothing wrong. Jack D won that one. Jack D was funny. I, I, that's the only thing I remember about it, is him fighting in front of the mirror. He yeah, stretches, uh, yeah, yeah. He, goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he stretches yeah. out like a starfish and farts right in front of the mirror. I've, that, that's all I've ever seen, and it's all I ever will see. Jim Davison and the Nolan girl, their their feud was oh, good. Oh god, yeah, there was some. But ma- yeah, I mean, I know people slag it off of that, but that is to watch them people just fall apart. It, it was great. We well, had Barrymore in there as well, didn't you? And yeah, oh, yeah it's mean, good thing they didn't have a pool. There was a that was the same one with um, oh, what's his name? The poli- Scottish politician, the Labour bloke. Oh, George. Yeah, he yeah, did the cat thing. The cat thing oh, with uh, Rula so, Lenska, wasn't it? it was so cringe cringeworthy. Yeah. yeah. The thing put, is, these people are so important when you see them on telly, like news readers and all that sort of stuff. You go on there and you see them for what they really are, like you know, it's it's. Yeah, it, it it lifts the veil, doesn't it? Yeah, you, you just see that they just. Let's move on people. to the next uh, program. I well, that's it. Know. We're we're only on, we're on to my fourth one. We're not even on, you know. That's you it. Know, my fourth one. No, that's we'll find a fifth one. I've got oh, I've got a fifth one as well. Uh, Danger Mouse. No, oh, and I chuck another He's one in there. Super rigid about, in the world. What about um Tier Five Friday? I quite enjoyed that. I can't, yeah. Do you know what the funny thing is? I remember enjoying it, but I can't remember anything about it. I'm sure you're going to remind me. Yeah, it had, it had some great things. I mean, uh, Freak or Unique, do you remember that? Where they brought someone out and the people... Is it Chris Evans? That's Chris Evans. Yeah, Chris it? Evans. Yeah, Tier 5 Friday. They're Freak or Unique where somebody came out and he said... Um, uh, he'd do something like he'd, he'd bend his arm behind his back or pop his shoulder out or something. Yeah. Everyone would go, Freak or Unique. You know, it's kind of... Um, and then they had... Um, they had the the ugly bloke. They used to have a supermodel there, and an ugly bloke would come in. and She'd say, "Do you want to go out with me?" And he'd go, "No." Yeah, and he'd, yeah, yeah. And they'd yeah. all cheer. They'd all cheer. I that. It, that was, was funny, it was though. great. Yeah, yeah, it was a great show. They used to do all sorts of things like um, uh, like silly things. Like he, I, I, I remember him getting like a. He said, "I was sitting on the toilet the other day, and he he had the air freshener can that sprays up." Do you know. And he said, then I said, I went, we, I went downstairs and I found, I found a ping pong ball. And I was thinking, oh. So he put the ping pong ball on top of the spray and it sprayed and it stayed there. <laughs> and everyone went, hey! It's just stupid stuff like that. And they used to do, um, the like, in the bar. I mean, it, it was it was all around kind of the 90s lad culture. Is this the one where the bloke swore all the time on it? Is that TFI Friday? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy from um, um, Happy Mondays. Happy Mondays yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it. He, the desk. I'd love to know where that desk is because every guest signed signed, signed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So God knows it's where. Probably the, in Evans's uh, 
study or something. Yeah, probably. But they were, I mean, it was just, I mean, I read uh, part of Chris Evans' um, autobiography and, it, and he said it was just, we had no script. We'd just have a guest song, guest song. And he do you did make some... But you don't though. need a script, do you, if you've got all their people no, coming in? Make, he, 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 don't forget your toothbrush was good as well. Yeah, they did this, this Captain Scarlet. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was good. Yeah, it was good. But he, yeah, he, he, was, make, I mean, he was. That he was, was at the height. On, that was at the height of Chris Evans' he was powers. Good on the Big Brother. Breakfast as well. That was a good program. I mean, mm. I preferred it with Johnny Vaughan, but he was rubbish on Top Gear, though. Yeah, but he had his. Though in the nineties, he was. I mean, he made. Some he was like Jeremy uh, Jeremy Clarkson. He made. Some he was like that back programs. then. He was like the guy. He was. Yeah. If you could get him, well, he, he, in he owned the production company of. Oh, yeah, 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 it was Ginger something. Ginger, wasn't it? Yeah, Ginger Productions with the glasses. Yeah. 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 Did he buy Virgin Radio for about sixty yeah. million. Or something? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then uh, the song uh, when they did "It's Your Letters," and they had Reef. Uh, you know the song, put your hands up, uh, put yeah, your yeah, hands yeah. And they, they they did, changed it and did the, it's your letters, it's your letters. And that was it. And that, that's how I knew that song for ages. I didn't realise there were different lyrics to it. Yeah. Song. I like Reef. But that, there were so many that you had, um, uh, I don't know his name, Jimmy Five Bellies, was it, or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Gas, Gas guy, Gas Gaz's mate, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was there was a whole crowd. He said, oh, we was just drunk every night because that was a working bar. It was a oh, bar was with a pub. Yeah, he was a bit of a hanger on with Gascoigne, didn't he? He always had his picture of him in the yeah, park. Yeah, yeah. That was that always. Face, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember Gascoigne told that story, didn't he, where. Um, he, fought, he knew five. Be- they were gone out for a drink, good old drink up, and he knew five bellies would be hungry when he got back. So he got the, uh, the he had a pack of mince pies. I think it's mince pies, and he took all the mince out and put dog food in. Oh, and put oh. it back in the fridge. Of course, when old five bellies come back, Stage he goes, "You got anything to eat? Oh, I got some mince pies. I do. Yeah, but and he had them all. Didn't he even bat an eyelid? Oh man! <laughs> wow. Jeez, that don't surprise me. <laughs> they were designing anything. Do you remember Will? Will, Will, he was the producer. That, that rings a bell. Will, yeah, with that. the finger. Yeah, yeah Will. He, uh, he was the producer and what he just... To him? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It, uh, they just used to do so much mad stuff. I remember they did the... Uh, on the road outside, he wanted to check to see if they had complaints or something about the noise. So he said, well, we're not, no, we're not as loud as them youngsters out there playing music in their cars, and we'll prove it to you. And he had one of them, like, measures sound. Geiger counter. Yeah, and he had one. No, he that's to do with radiation, it? you donut. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. A, de- yeah. a decibel a metre. Sure. It's decibels, sure. isn't it? Sure, yeah. sure. A, de- a, de- a, de- a decibel. Yeah, a guy goes, yeah, if he goes, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. He was just happy to agree, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I just agreed. Yeah, going um, So yeah, they they measured the noise of the crowd, and then they had a car outside, and they just they just measured it, and the the car was loud with the bass and all that kind of stuff. Really? It's just little yeah little things. Like, I remember they did a thing where they dressed two people. Bless up. you. <laughs> I see the future. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when um I remember when they did this thing where it was really sunny outside, and they say if you wear black, you're hotter than if you wear white. So they had two people. One was dressed up in a big black fur coat. The other one was a big white fur coat. And they stood there throughout the whole show. Fuck At the man. beginning, they mentioned it. They did the whole show, and then they went back to them to do, do the measure. And it turned out that the black guy was so much hotter than the, the one wearing white. It was... It, they just used to do weird stuff like that, just out of yeah. nowhere. It was a fun But some program. of the guests on there, they, they had a lot. They, when John was Why on there. That was prime you time. Two. So back then... Back then, in the 90s, I suppose that's when it ended, primetime TV, everyone everyone was watching it. Yeah. Wouldn't they? It wasn't really primetime. It was 6 o'clock, wasn't it? It was like... It, I used I to watch it before right. I went to the Cutty Sark in Thamesmead. I used to watch it before... Um, a, li- a little shout-out to the Cutty Sark boys. Cutty. Yeah. <laughs> as Who's man, Cutty? Had, had many a good point in there <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, that was... Any of them Thamesmead chaps listening? <laughs> Um, it's called a podcast. We're not actually in the room, boys. Yeah, stop looking right? around. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my It's coming from the sideboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, great. I, it was I, good. I, I, I have to agree with you. And the, I think the theme tune was um, Ocean Colour Scene, the oh, riverboat yeah. song. Sounds yeah. to me like me and Chris Evans yeah. would get on quite well. <laughs> Back then you would have, Jesus. You'd have been like five bellies. Eating I dog did, food for entertainment. I didn't, I didn't eat much back in the, them days. They had all the top bands on there as well. Yeah. Uh, it was 
He used to walk yeah, out. Yeah, I was saying, because it was like... I remember the lightning was... seeds being on, doing Lucky yeah. You. Oh, Lucky You. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was a, yeah, it was a great show. And it, and it, again, if they did it now, it wouldn't be the same because they couldn't do no, what they did. you can't recreate it. <clears throat> no, I'm surprised they never. I'm surprised it hasn't been sort of. I mean, you got an index rubbish, didn't you? But that's that's the nearest thing to. No, it. but this was off the cut. You just no, no, you agree. never knew what was going to happen. Agree. That was that was the beauty Everything of it. Everything nowadays is so sort of bland, isn't it? Grey. Yeah, grey. Grey. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Grey. Everyone's like, hi, hi. I really hate you, but I'm gonna pretend. Yeah. Oh, no, I hate everyone, but I'm gonna pretend I'm a nice person, even though I'm a twat. As long as you buy the film I'm in, or the song I'm releasing, or the book I'm writing. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I, yeah. Freedom of speech. We would oh, be a bit of, you know, what's it? Can not conspiracy. What's the word? I don't know. Anyway, Greece is the word. <laughs> is the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna. Um, well, that wasn't one of my four, but that's probably the best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You actually give me some good memories there. I forgot all about it. Oh, it's great. It was really great. Everyone watched it before it went out, and then you'd be talking about it in the pub. Like, I mean, when that bloke gave me, uh, Chris Evans gave me his shoe, the bloke from Happy Mondays. I mean, he said, I'll give you my shoes if you don't swear. He picks up the shoe and he goes, oh, these are effing good shit. <laughs> effing good shoes. And he's like, right, I'll take them back. That's it. He just couldn't do it. Was it could Bez or was it one? No, no, no. It was Sean. Uh, oh, right. Sean, yeah, Sean Ryder. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a character, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's funny, he is. Yeah, that Bez was in the Big Brother house, wasn't he? Yeah, he, was, he won it, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did, I don't know, yeah. Yeah, he was a... He, he's I don't, mad, I don't, he's I don't, I don't understand his whole career. <laughs> career? He just <laughs> dances, he dances with maracas. What's not to get? Yeah. <laughs> he don't get the turtles, he don't get Bez. What, what do you get, Dave? Thunderbirds. <laughs> they are a bit off the wall, your choices, though, Robert. You must have. Yeah, but I'm trying to mix it up. I don't want to do... Four, I could have done four shows that are all similar. And my last one isn't actually a show at all. It's an event. Oh, Wimbledon. I <laughs> know. Uh, is that just the cheese rolling? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down, the <laughs> Down the hill. We like that down there. Get your uh, cheese out. Now, you talk about nostalgic, Mike. Yes. This is an event. But I just wanted to... I mean, this isn't a show. This is probably just me. What is it? Um, It's the Royal Rumble. Right. The and Royal I, Rumble? This is WWE. I only mention this because I, I've just got... It's s- WWF, though. Then can, I, yeah, I, WWF. Can, can I say my nostalgic bit before yeah, you, oh, you get into a... You know. No, because I know you, it's going to go down to the point of you saying how sad I am. But go on. Agreed. <laughs> but, yeah, the, what, my memories of this, I mean... We, I absolutely loved it until I found out it was fake. Well, you must have known it was fake about two minutes after watching it. You was an adult at the time. I wasn't he? Oh. All right. It was made for us. Yeah. It was... But the greatest thing was, Dad used to do this brilliant thing where he, he'd get us in bed early, you know. Because yeah, it was on a school night. Yeah, it was and pay-per-view. It was, and it was or, always or something. Something. It wasn't pay-per-view. No, he wouldn't have paid for it. It was on, it was like on at four like, in the morning. Yeah, it was live on Sky. Yeah. Live. Yeah, so uh, Dad would send us to bed, and I think it was probably the only night of he the year. He used to put a board up at the window, didn't he? Put a board up at the window. Oh, did he? Yeah, to, to it, keep it the was, light out. It was probably the only night of the year that we went to sleep when we went to bed. Yeah, it was so and, uh, exciting. Yeah, he'd come and wake us up, and uh, we'd go down, and he'd have his, his little labels, uh, numbered cakes, and his numbers in a hat. Yeah. I would never be happy with my choice, even when... I swapped. I'd be like, no, I want that one back. Yeah, yeah, I want you know, whatever I ain't got. Those were the days. <laughs> yeah. ADHD. But he you know did. That? But that that was the beauty of it. They're, they're my but early that's, memories. That's, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that's what I remember it, and it was, it was fantastic. And then <clears throat> we used to have a bet, didn't we, Dad? So Dad would give us all money. So we'd all well, it wasn't a bet. I just gave sort of prize money. Yeah. So we we'd have. The names of wrestlers. Dad would no, 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 no. You, you have the num- numbers. numbers. They, oh, that's uh, right. If, if you that's don't know, right. the yeah. Royal Rumble is is in wrestling. Every two minutes, uh, a different wrestler in, uh, enters the Obviously, ring. Obviously, number one comes and out. And there are 30. Yeah, and there so are Dad 30 would, of them. Dad would write one to 30. You get eliminated by hat. being chucked over the top rope. Yeah, yeah and he would he would pass it around. We'd all pick one. But we'd have our numbers. Like, oh, this is your one. This is your one. He'd come out and it's like, repo man. It was really exciting. It was really exciting. If you got Rick Flair. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah! The Ultimate Warrior. I mean, it was it was ridiculously entertaining. 
It really was. It yeah. really was. And and the beauty of it was, I could watch it now. Nobody else. No, I haven't got any toys. Nobody else. The beauty of it was that <laughs> no, no one had had toys. When surely. you went to school the next day, you were the only kid that had seen it. Because they'd have to wait for the repeats because their their dad doesn't do what repeats. you do. Yeah, they like repeats, but better. <laughs> was it, was it more pa- American. Pay them. Yeah, they yeah. They're they're, they're, they're like, yeah, I know. Like, oh, what happened? What happened? And yeah, it, it was just it made you, me feel special. It was well, you'll just be asleep things. at lunchtime. The rest of the kids will be all right. Yeah, it was I just, don't remember it, was, it being on a school day. It was, it yeah, was, it would have been, yeah. It was just brilliant. It was brilliant. Your dad would put the ball up at the... He did window. make he did make it into a real thing, and it was... It was it wouldn't have been... No. If we had just got up and watched it, you, we, you know... No. I mean, he did. Dad really We've made done that. A, I mean, I've done other things as well, cause, but, but that one being in the middle of the night I'm not saying that's the only good, good parenting thing you did, yeah. Dad. I'm not... You know, we used to do similar things in your Eurovision Song Contest as well. Yeah, we still do it now. We yeah, still but you, now. Don't, you don't sort of get up in the middle of the night. That's what makes it exciting. But it was good. But we actually cared as well because we was right into it. I mean, Bob still is. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I love the... Uh, even when I found out it wasn't real, I still... You like the it. little pants. I told, him, I told I, him last week. Thing is, I was, I, I've been the perfect age for it all the way along. So I was a really young and, kid. And the, and the right sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the little pants. Be honest. Yeah. And it's funny because oh, yeah. they're Be all honest with yourself. They're all fighting with for a belt, but none of them wear trousers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's um, a good point. Yeah. Mind you, the, f- the the bloody belt holder things on the trousers would have to be big, wouldn't they? The yeah, loops. true. <laughs> um, but the I forget what I was going to say now. What was I going to say? Um, but the 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 beauty of it was was the fact that you had the elimination process and i always elimination yeah Ooh. i always loved Copyright. that i always loved that process i used to do it i used to get little bits of paper and write loads of football teams on it and do like an fa cup and draw draw the scales and all this kind of stuff i used to love that that process <laughs> Did you? yeah that or okay. roll the dice roll the dice it's free Two or you know, and all that kind of stuff until you get a winner. I used to love that. And and you're here, right, you're right. And here you're we are, rain man. And here we are today, and I'm still doing it. I'm still loving that process. Here we are with elimination, still doing that process, and I love it. I love seeing what we're going to get to, what the final one is going to be. What I the I didn't realise he had dice in his hands. I thought he was just called me a wanker. Oh no, that's my other <laughs> end. That's my other end. Um. Yeah, I, I, I loved it. And, and as I was saying about my age, in, in when it was Hulk Hogan and all that kind of era, I was a very young kid, so oh, it's made for me. And then I was a teenager when it was like the Attitude Era, when it was Stone Cold and DX and all that kind of stuff. So I was the perfect age for them two things. Since then, I've, I've, I ain't got interest in, in it anymore. But I just, I loved the... That's not entirely true, is it's it? It's a nostalgic <laughs> thing. It's a nostalgic thing. I love it. I, I love the figures. Uh, the Hasbro figures, I do collect them. I've got a collection of over 200. Uh, I have a little arena with lights and all that. I'm looking why at getting... Why are all the crutches a... worn out in them? That's what I want to know. Yeah, but why is George Harrison and Dave Lister there? We, you, they can't see what you're, what I know, you're looking they're, at. They're supposed to, they're, they don't, some of them just don't look uh, like them, well, do we'll, they? We'll put a picture on the Facebook yeah, the, page. Well, it, it's completely terrible podcasting, pointing at things <laughs> going, look at that, look at that. How can we, that look uh, like we'll that? We'll put I mean, a picture on the Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. listeners. Of George I, and Dave. I'm sorry, yeah, listeners. You, you, would, you would be pointing and this, laughing as well. This is... The worst episode, but the best one ever was 1992. That's what I wanted to oh, say. Definitely, Ric Flair won it from number three, and it was it was brilliant. It was absolutely all the big guns were in it as well. Yeah, the and best bit of that was the very first two, when Million Dollar Man and Bulldog come out. Yeah, Bulldog was first. Million yeah, Dollar and Man. he thought he knocked him out, but he hadn't. That was the best yeah. part. Yeah, and then he went out. I was actually because you could go over the top rope and come in the bottom. You had to touch. the Yeah, floor, both feet out. have to touch the floor. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. I, I, I just love that process. It was quality when there was loads of them in there. Yeah, because chaos. the beauty of it was was that you you got people in the ring that you never saw fight. Like you'd see Hulk Hogan beating up a bushwhacker and and all that. You didn't see them in the same the room. Bushwhackers, yeah. The thing about that the Legion of Doom. Yeah, yeah we, we, Animal we, died it recently. When we first got Sky, yeah, yeah, wasn't it? We first got Sky and. We didn't know nothing about it. It was cable, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, it was, yeah. And, he uh, got it off the, well, off we the had Scott, in the pub. We had Sky <laughs> Sports on it. And uh, that came on, and we, it was just it was just something new. And uh, you sort of got to know the characters and that, and it just sort of took off. But it didn't last too long, really. The, I mean, you're talking about the late 80s, I think, 1990, when we first started watching that. and Yeah, 90s. 
Definitely. They they just ruin it. They, they don't they never used to fight. They just used to talk in the middle of the ring. Yeah, that's true. They it, it, when we when we, even now when you turn it on. Yeah, when we used to watch it, it was they used to fight and stuff. And you you know they'd have a bit of banter in the, in the actual ring, wouldn't they? Mm. Or like the what's his name, the Paul Bearer. Yeah. Like, yeah. Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. With the urn. Oh, but it was the he must have died it. of an heart attack, that bloke, yeah. right? He's dead now, yeah. He died. Heart attack? It, maybe. I'm possibly. calling it. Possibly. He, he, was, he was very no, he pale. Died, he died of overacting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was He was funny. But it was funny when you'd get them and uh, like the, the manager would get knocked out. That was always funny. Bobby the Brain Heenan was uh, the, the greatest manager. He was brilliant. Jimmy, Jimmy what's his face? Jim Cornette. Yeah. No, the other bloke. Oh, Jimmy Hart. Yeah. Jimmy Mouth of the South. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, they were good he had a mega. There was so many of them. The wrestlers, there was so many of them. Well, yeah, and they were all you kind of, easy, you, you know, just Jake, off the top. Jake the Snake. But they yeah, were, they were just all... off the top of my head. Rick Rude, Jake the Snake, Mr. Mr. Perfect. Man. Million Dollar Man. Yeah. Good. I mean, he made me laugh, he did. But it was just, it, it was just, it was better then. <laughs> that's that's no, all no. I can say. The Attitude Era was amazing as well. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you look at that card of Stone Cold, Triple H. Kurt Angle, The Rock, yeah, uh, Mick Foley. I, 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 I was gone by then. Kurt yeah, Angle, I think, I think, It wasn't me. I think I, I caught the very beginning of that. And that's when I lost interest. As soon as they started swearing and stuff, you just thought, whoa. No, it was, and people that, like... That's um, right. It was all the talking. It was all that. Oh, yeah, it was all... Yeah, and then and they'd have Raw. They had like four different programmes in a week. Yeah, you I don't. Know, know, we, yeah, I don't know why they did that. Uh, I, they, I still don't get it now. They do a um, what the NFL do, Dave. Um, like a what they call it when they pick players. Um, oh well, yeah, I don't mean yeah. What's it called? A trade or something? No, it? where the, yeah, with the team. Your oh, what is the word? You watch it, Dave, yeah, all no, the time. No, no, it's just escaped me for the moment. Oh, well, think, have a think about it. But yeah, they have a Raw and SmackDown kind of different champions, and it yeah. just I, there's oh, too yeah, much. Oh yeah, the draft. Yeah, there's yeah, too the much. Draft. The draft. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, they do one of them. So. Um, uh, yeah, I don't get it now, but I'm just, I wanted to say that because it, it sort of goes full circle with Elimination podcast and the, that's where it started, yeah, my I, love of that process. I've got good memories of that as well. Yeah. Dad, dad, a tip of the hat, sir. He did smash it, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But but not just that. I mean, even he used to buy cakes and um, he used to put numbers Phil, on Phil, the cakes. Friday, Friday night was film night and uh, he's go, I used to go to the uh, video shop. And get two films, one to watch with you lot, and then one for me and my mum later one, on. One from the top shelf. Not, not my mum, your we mum. two different directions there, Bob. But same point, though, same point. But I used to get uh, cakes, and I used to put numbers on them and draw the cake. Of course, Michael never liked his draw, so he always get the ump, and he'd have someone else's cake. But silly little thing. Nothing we used to do with the football, wouldn't it? We used to put... Um, the numbers of the shirts of the goal scorers. That's right, yeah. But even just to uh, make life. I remember. I remember doing. Uh, do you remember the? Um, you explain that. What do you mean with the? Because they're not going to know what you're talking about. Well, um, you before the game started. Suppose there was six of us in the room. Someone would have uh, say naught to, to ten. Then someone would have ten to twenty, thirty to uh, twenty to thirty, and so on. And it was the the goal scorers in the whole match. The shirt numbers on the back added up. Oh. So if 17 scored a hat trick, 51, if you had between 50 and 60, you win the money. That's a good idea. Yeah, it was, you good always, game, good game. You always, and, and we still do that mm. now. You know, we watch Soccer Saturday with the kids. We do like the name. You know, yeah. you pick out the yeah. first name. Yeah, yeah, Gary or yeah and then the names come it down. It just makes it more interesting. Yeah, yeah just something it else. Does. But I remember things you used to do, Dave, where we used to stand um, playing cards up on the skirting board and then flick yeah, cards mod, mod, at it. I used to play that as a kid all the time, and mod kids just ain't no good at it. They just can't do it. It's just a no, but I mean, we but had a natural thing. Flickies. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, but it was so. It's a pack of cards. I'm not going to know at that age how deck to of play. Cards to those who, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who but I, I don't know how to play. You know, any card games. But Dad made a game out of it that entertained me for hours. Well, you know, we, they used to do something else as well. Um, didn't you used to do a thing with? Uh, we used to play top the AP. Top the AP. It's up the the push. Game, yeah, yeah. push. No. Didn't you do a thing where we, you had a, co a with a coin and you used to have to score with it or something? Hit a coin with a coin. Yeah, yeah that sounds familiar. Uh, I can't remember that or, one. Or flicking or something. You used to do the flicking the coin. You had, 
You had like a 2p and a 1p. You both had a 2p and you had to knock it into the goal. You yeah, I that that's in, what it was. You throw that in school yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's good. That was, you know, kids these days, they don't know where they're born, Dad. No, yeah. it's all electric now. You don't know you're born. Yeah, you can shovel your technology. Enjoy our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> if you get cold, rub some sticks together. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the last one wasn't really a show, but it was it, you know it's nostalgic. No, it, it, it's nostalgic. Was, it was worth a great a mention. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Agreed. Yeah, and uh, yeah, elimination. Hey, eh? full circle. I thought that went well, Bob. Oh, I think it would have gone better without you. <laughs> oh, I don't have to come next time. Well, it's final. So Sometimes not at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I am that kind of guy. <laughs> um, I have no oh, idea I, what I meant by that. Oh, uh, I did. Um, oh, this is going to sound really sad. Uh, let's take it to a whole new level. I went to a Comic Con uh, to meet the Nasty oh, Boys. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you yeah. Can put the pictures up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do. If you want. They were a tag team. Yeah, they were the Nasty Boys. Um, and they were good. The Nasty. Yeah, Boys. they were. They used to do the pit stop. Do you remember that? They didn't have many. They used teeth. to get the bloke's face and put. Oh, I just knocked my mic. They'd have had they four put, teeth between them. Yeah, they put his face in his. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's oh, nasty. Man. We yeah. saw them live. We went. We took you to see them live. Yeah, at Wembley, Wembley Arena. Didn't we? Yeah. Do you know my biggest memory of that? Go on. It was when we, How much was the beer? No, we, ca- <laughs> we came. We came. We, we went with um, me, you, your mum, and your, one of your mum's friends, wasn't it? And uh, we came out. Where was I? You didn't go. It was his birthday treat, uh, and he, what, he said, "Can I?" I oh, can have two things, Dad. Can I go to the rest in and Michael stay at home? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we came, we came out. That, that, that could have happened. <laughs> we came out and you said to me, Dad, I'm really thirsty. Can I have a drink? And there was all these like um, caravan things selling drinks. Yeah. And I thought, oh, yeah, come on, go and get you one. So he goes over and I said, oh, can I have a can of Coke, please, mate? He goes, okay. And this is 1991, but 1991? Yeah, no, 92. 92. 92, yeah. So he goes, uh, yeah, okay. He put a can down. He goes, 150, please. And I said, come on. And we just, we just walked off. <laughs> we got one for about 20p in the shop down the road. I mean, well, I fucking believe it. God, I mean, that's don't go to the O2 now, Dave. Jesus, one pack of Maltesers is going to cost you about 70 oh, quid. Yeah. It's about a tenner per Maltese. Just rather than a cinema is a rip-off, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's absolutely shocking. Captured audience. I remember you? going yeah, to the cinema cool. with Dad with the old hidden carrier bag. <laughs> <laughs> Handy like sandwiches down yeah, there. Everyone else with their massive cups of coke, we got our Capri Sun. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't need all that. Capri yeah. sandwiches. Yeah, your mum's made some toffee, eat that. <laughs> <laughs> you can kill someone with this yeah, topic. Right, so why don't we wear dentures? Oh, so are old kids to bring up. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> you don't know your bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good times. Good times had by all. So, um, yeah, I think that went well. I, I think well. it was good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really need a wee, though. So, uh, oh. are you going to. Are are is that it? Is that it for your special? Um, well, it'd have to be, wouldn't it? Well, if you need a wee, then yeah, I think no, so. No, no, I mean, I can go and come back. I can go and I can go back. Um, can you go and not come back? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can. Did you hear his heart break just at the moment? <laughs> another, uh, another scar. Yeah. Anyway, the nasty boys. I forgot. Yeah, I went I to... I actually really do need a wee. Yeah, on I went to fill the bottle up. Um, I went to the Comic-Con and met them, and I mentioned the Royal Rumble to one of the Nasty Boys because he was in it right to the end. And uh, he told me his whole story about Hulk Hogan talking to him before because he had to take the big boot to the face and go over the ropes. But he was quite a big bloke, like quite a fat bloke, not muscular. Yeah. And uh, and Hulk Hogan said to him, oh, yeah, brother, are you going to be able to do that and all that kind of stuff? And he was like, I'll give it a go because he was pretty new. I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a go. And it was him, Earthquake, and Hulk Hogan left the last three. And he got the boot, and I swear, you watch it, and he said it was amazing. Like, he, the way he went over the top rope, and he said, uh, shortly after that, Hulk Hogan wins, obviously. Um, and he stayed. He didn't go back to the dressing room. He stayed by the ring just to watch and just to feel that kind of Hulk Hogan mania, whatever it was. 
And he said it's I was even the... Even they idolised Yeah, he said... Uh, no, it was just... You, not everybody at that time got that kind of... They call it a pop. You know, when you win and... Uh, or you enter the ring and... Uh, you know, the crowd goes mad. But th he said, I, I just couldn't tear myself away. I was watching. I was the bad guy, so I had to sort of bang the ring and pretend that I was upset and that. But I just wanted to stay by the ringside but to feel that stuff going on. Yeah, so you wouldn't want to go back into the no. dressing room. But you're the, the bad losers. guy. You know, you're the bad guy. You go back and... And when he went back, Hulk Hogan said to him, oh, you took that boot like a like a man and all this kind of stuff it's great he, he, he was a king of the WWF old Hogan but blimey his films are crap weren't they oh, I've never seen one I he, he, he ruined the illusion he, um, Suburban Commando was one and Mr Nanny was the other I don't know any others god they were awful I mean he turned up in Baywatch at one point as well he's got the body for it <laughs> he did have but body, what are they say in? Um, I bet he still looks better than all three of us. With yeah, his shirt in off. Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> one of their episodes starts with them watching Hulk Hogan, and D says, "What's going on here? What's going on with his skin? What's going on with his hair?" And they're like, "Don't question it. He's American." <laughs> and he goes, "He's, he's got, got the he's got the skin he's, American. he's got the skin of a hot dog and the hair of a baby child." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, America. <laughs> um, well, that's the end of my special. That's it. Did you enjoy yourselves? I did. Yeah. I, but my bladder. A few lull moments there, phrase, but, um, you know, it's all I about was, me. I'm I happy. Thought, I thought it was good. I, I, I actually, I, I'm, it wasn't as sad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> there wasn't as much ridiculing as I thought I it would be. It. No, it's just that the, the, the programs you chose weren't really my thing. Yeah, well, that's a different that, era. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he no, doesn't choose his your programs choice. depending on whether his no, father it, it, approves it. It's <laughs> your choice. I'm just saying. I know. So. And I can uh, do. Michael's giving me the wrap up side. I need a. I need a way! Uh, I, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave you with a song. and uh, we, we are going to leave you with a song. There are three of us. Yeah, well, I have to press the button. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> What's today's song, Robert? Uh, today's song is. Uh, let me just get it open. Uh, it is uh, Karen McKee, Fall from Grace. Lovely. Ooh. Lovely song. It's a good um, song. Yeah, it is. And uh, it's on the playlist. Hello, Hello Karen, Karen, friends of the show. Yeah, hi, Karen. Um, and also, uh, join us on Facebook, Patreon, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, help us grow the show. And we will see you in the final of season one. Can we get a Ric wow. Flair, please, Bob? Woo! He's a good boy. Yeah. That was, um, a, that was a good woo. It was a good woo, yeah. I was proud of that. Um, I want a woo, too. <laughs> I just wanted to say woo to make, woo it, to. make yeah. it a good one. Woo! Ah, see, you do wrong. You, no. Yours is more like a howl. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's, anyway, that's, play Karen's song. Yeah, I am. I am. See you later. See, see you later, in the final. The light in the sky How much brighter tonight in this bright